this is me Debolena and this has to be my first ever travel vlog. So right now I am standing in this beautiful location amidst the majestic Himalayas, a small Lepcha village of Risha. This place is supposed to be the one is supposed to be one of the topmost uh, points in Bengal and it's situated almost 8500 feet above sea level. We boarded the Hara New Jalpaiguri Super Fast AC Express from the Bardhaman Junction at about 12:30 on 29th May and thereafter we reached the NJP station. To be honest, the train journey was not at all pleasant because our, it got delayed by uh, two hours and hence we reached the plane, the station, the NJP station at about 11 in the morning. So from there we took a cab and hooked up on our three hour long drive to this beautiful location of Risha. So the reason why I am on the short trip is that my exams have just ended as you all know and so here I am with my parents to explore this untouched land of Bengal. Rishabh is a sweet, small and charming village uh, away from the city crowd and here the sun, the clouds, the mountain and the forest create a magical atmosphere throughout the year. The thing is that the roads here are not well built so the best way to unveil this place's beauty is to trek along the forest trail. Good morning guys, it's 7.20 in the morning and it's officially the first day of our in Russia. So my parents are still inside and I'm standing in front of our main door. Um, do you want to see the look outside? It's so beautiful. The sun is shining out through the, through the edges of the vines along the slopes of the mountains and it's just a pleasant day to go for an experience. It's really amazing. You can see the light outlines of the mountains in the distance. Settled amidst the dense forests and deep valleys of the eastern Himalayas, this serene hamlet of Rishabh is a must visit for all of us. Every day, we engage ourselves amidst our fast-moving life. But here, you get to rejuvenate yourself and most importantly love yourself you see such a natural diverse landform that fills up your heart instantly so uh, i'm having some tea in the morning uh, our host came and gave us uh, we are really looking forward towards the day because uh, today we are going to the Changi Falls and the Kokoam village. It's almost 2000 feet down from here. We will be starting off at around 9.30 pm and uh, we will be our host and booked a car for us. Uh, we will be having our breakfast in our room itself and then we will be heading out. So guys, this is our room. This place has such a homely charm to it. Nothing extra vagrant but surely very cozy and comfortable. We have this really cute window here in the morning if you are lucky enough you could see the faint mountain peaks in the horizon and also wake up to the chirpings of the birds and whispering of the trees. So, right now we are heading towards our first spot for the day and it's Changi Falls. Currently we are on our way and our jeep is stranded there because our driver Vinaytama, he has gone to help some other stranded vehicle. So here we are capturing 
some of the beautiful scenery here. The weather is not clouded this time. Uh, rather, it's very pleasant, sunny, and yeah, a perfect day, day to explore. So we are at the Changi Falls. Uh, we are going down. It's about a hundred meter trek downhill. The path is pretty steep and I am struggling with my boots. again and again in my life but uh, as my palazzo had got wet so I had to change it to my pants so yeah this place is really the most appropriate place for nature lovers supposed to go to the Kolekham village also but couldn't because uh, it started raining on the way so we had to cancel that so the ride was really a bumpy one it was all jerks and the network up here is really bad uh, I couldn't means I cannot uh, log in to any of my accounts, social accounts. So it's kind of good because you get to live away from your usual busy, hectic life and enjoy the nature in peace. So, this is our food. Today, we have some steaming rice, a potato curry, soybean chunk fries, and the very special karela fries. Uh, they have fried this one with sesame seeds and it really tastes very unique and very tasty and then we have have some dal and egg curry and finally papar So it's official day number two and we are already on our way to Rishikola. So this place, it signifies the state borders of West Bengal and Sikkim. Right now we are in West Bengal and our vehicle will take us to a bridge, the Rishikola bridge and park it on one side. We are going to cross that bridge and walk into the state of Sikkim. This place is famous for the Rishi River 
a tributary of the Tista. So yeah, uh, our host was saying that it's a very beautiful place and we are going to love it. Let's see what we have for us today. The junction of Sikkim and West Bengal. You can all see the river Rishi behind me. So this is the bridge that connects. That side uh, is Sikkim and this side is West Bengal. direct way of going down to the river but let's see if we can find a shortcut there because I really want to go down there. It's so beautiful. this shortcut to the stream down downhill it's not a proper road and it will be hard finding our way down so we are finally at the base you can see the bridge above me and the path was not really difficult as we thought it would be because yeah, it consisted of some slippery rocks and it was dripping from above, from the trees, it was water, but yeah, we succeeded. And yeah, oh, the stream is right here. Right mud here. It's cool, you know, like after trailing through the jungle, you really get to see such a beautiful place. So this is the entrance to the state of Sikkim via the Rishikola Bridge.
this is the Pedong Monastery. It's in the town of Pedong and was right on our way. To reach here for the first time, we could see some town life. Good morning guys, so today it's day number 3 and right now we are heading towards Tifinara, a viewpoint which is almost 300 meters farther uphill. Though the trek will be of about 1.5 kilometers through a rugged terrain, uh, I don't think I will be able to go all that way up because I have some pain in my legs. So, but let's see how far I can manage to go. They are telling that it's a beautiful trek uphill. And we are going to see lots of birds, different kinds of birds. It will be a beautiful walk. finally started on our way to Tifindhara. Uh, the jungle trail has not come yet but uh, we have started uphill and we have reached this really beautiful place and there are so many cute cottages here. Let me show you. mountain that uh, its peak that is actually the Tifindara viewpoint we have to go up there I don't think I will be able to do it this place it's really amazing because the sky is clear today uh, with many white fluffy clouds and we can really see the mountain ranges which are far away and could not be seen until today morning. We 
are almost half away up the trail but the rest of the way as you can see behind me that one it's pretty steep so i don't think we will be going up there the trail is filled with lots of bushes mountain trees it's really beautiful and i can already hear the different types of the birds While trekking down, we reach this amazing spot. I know it's cloudy this time, but trust me, if it had been a clear day, then the view would be just awesome. Our last meal here, and I am already missing the food of this place. Today, on our request, our host uncle bought fish from Shiliguri, which is really difficult to find in these areas. must say the fish tastes so good apart from that we have our usuals rice dal and soybean chunk fries we are heading out our jeep is waiting outside and we are leaving this place i will really miss this place like it's so beautiful here i mean you are at peace you are with nature you are with the birds and you connect with each and every people here because they are so welcoming i am going to come back to this place again and again i can come back to this place again and again and i will wait for that day it's so beautiful to see the scenery here to see the mountains when you wake up in the morning yeah i'm going to visit this place thank you so much people for watching my first travel vlog it was really an attempt at something new initially i was not so confident but as i started making the videos i began to feel like i was really connected to the place and felt it by heart now that we have reached the end of today's video i would like to thank my partner amshuman who did the edits so if you guys like this video give it a big big thumbs up and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe you can also follow us on our instagram in the link given below so bye until next time